Afternoon. Welcome back. 431, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT. Andy Parks live from the Washington Times. And look who's wandered in. Yes, it's Catherine Temp, editor of Times247.com. Hello. Hello. Anything going on this week? Uh, it's been kind of quiet. Uh, <laughs> well, it has been. It actually, you know, has been kind of quiet um, after the election a little bit, actually. Have you seen the new? what's going to be the new Newsweek cover yet? No. It says, GOP, you're old, you're white, you're history. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Because I guess they only have, what, two more issues left in the print edition, so I guess they're going to go out with a with a bang, with an Obama-loving bang. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, could you imagine if you said, like, Democrats, you know, yeah. they're black. Like, are you, you know, yeah. you just can't. You can't do it, no. Right, it's right across the, the, the banner <laughs> on the front. Like, yeah, I know, I know. I That's know. interesting. I haven't seen that. I don't yeah. Look, mm-hmm. look forward. So nice. Do you have it? You have a, a yep, phone already? Yeah, photo oh, of it up there, yeah. All right, yep. cool. All right what else? Uh, thousands uh, in New York City public housing still don't have any heat or power yeah. at all. And, you know, it, I just don't know how this is, you know, Obama's is like kind of, ridiculous that he's being praised for all oh, these I know. things i know but and, and then fema shuts down yeah, right yeah, yeah well the people that are in these public housing units some of them who are sick or you know old or they can't they can't get out because the elevators aren't working so mm-hmm. they've been holed up in these apartments they can't leave yeah and that we're talking about thousands of people and nobody's talking about I it i know it's very it's very sad you mm-hmm. know and yet he's gotten all this credit and of course, the uh, man love from uh, you know Chris Christie, everything paid off for him. Right. I, I just yeah. I don't understand how that is a success. Uh, well, you know you're young. One day you will. <laughs> I no, I I won't. <laughs> no, you're you're right. You should never <laughs> yeah really think the way they do. All right, what else? Yeah. Speaking of ridiculous thinking, uh, Joy Ann Reed on MSNBC. There's yeah. a video. Did you hear that? She said the GOP campaign spending. Actually, probably boosted the economy like a mini stimulus, Mm -hmm. which helped Obama and also proved that stimulus works. Oh, my God. (laughs) Because Obama won. That's a stretch, isn't it? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well. It makes no sense. uh, Actually, in in her mind, obviously, it does. But campaign spending, yeah. I mean, it's an election. Everyone spends it. It's it's not a mini stimulus. What are you talking about? Well, you know, I'll tell you what. They're probably talking about $3 billion spent. So, I mean, somebody did make some money off of the deal, but do you really consider that a stimulus package? A stimulus proves yeah. that the stimulus works. Yeah. okay. And, you know, keep, keep in mind, this is a stimulus. It's not they're just, they're not just throwing money in. This. I mean, it's it's an election. I, always, I know it's most expensive, but mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It's just, I just, this logic that I see whenever I watch these clips on MSNBC, just, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, oh. Well, well oh. first of all, if you're looking for logic or logical, you, you don't go to MSNBC. Well, when they have these panels, a lot of the times, I, I, I hope that the other panelists aren't really listening. Yeah. They're all just spaced out, you know, moving their heads. <laughs> because uh, you got to think at least one every now and then would be like, uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Please explain this to me. I don't really understand this economic principle yeah. that you're introducing here. Yeah. All right, got time for one more. Um, a Kenya, a mother in Kenya, she named her twins Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. <laughs> she did. And it built this village in Kenya, like close to mm-hmm. Obama's uh, birthplace. Yeah. Oh, whatever. No, 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 village, no. Whatever Please, it is. Me. I didn't say that. Um, Pay no attention to the old bald white guy. <laughs> but isn't that that's kind of strange to me? So if, what, if she's more liberal, she's gonna hate the Mitt Romney kid, or if she's yeah, more see, conservative, she's gonna hate the Obama kid. Yeah. I don't really know. There are gonna be distinct advantages and disadvantages I really for both hope of those they kids. Follow these kids and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Well, That'd be an interesting psychology experiment. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, come back tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I will. And we'll uh, check out times247.com. Thank you, Catherine. Mm-hmm. Catherine Temp. It is 435, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT.